Hey guys, how are you doing? Evelyn here. Welcome to another video. As promised, we have some wire tricks, and here we go. So I'm going to be showing you guys my tips and tricks that I've picked up over the years playing as my warrior. I'm going to be giving you guys my knowledge to show my appreciation for everything you guys have done for me so far. All the support you've shown me. I'll be showing you guys how to use all the warrior's best abilities and how to counteract every class in the game and every spec in the game. Using various abilities and I'll be explaining what's happening so you guys know how to do them yourselves. So you can just try them out for yourselves and see that they really work. So yeah guys, let's get into it and let's get started. Okay, so first up I'm going to be showing you a video I did recently. I actually did one of the tricks in the Weasley. It's actually uh, removing a stun with Bladestorm. Any sort of stun in the game, be it disorientated or anything knocked down or anything like that, you can actually remove it and I'm actually going to show you that clip right now. So as you can see I'm starting to clip now. I'm charging up here and as you can see I'm going to charge this healer. I'm going to pop all CDs and this works but the stun me, he stuns me. I blade storm and get out of the stun straight away, kill the warlock, go over and kill the mage. You may ask yourself how did that actually happen? Well there's actually a 0 0.5 second window where you can actually remove any stun or any incapacitating effect in the game if you do it right and it actually requires quick timing and the thing is it's like any stun like shockwave or deep freeze or any incapacitating effect like dragon's breath or blind from a rogue and you may think to yourself like that's a bug. Well, the thing is, it's not. It's actually been in the game since Bladestorm existed. Uh, a lot of people just didn't know about it. And the best way to use it is to have quick reactions and use it after every stun or incapacitate effect or after it just pop CDs because, like, most people will try to stun you after you pop CDs. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be showing you guys, like, about 10, 11 clips of every class in the game. Basically, me using the ability to remove any stuns from their classes. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'm going to play some music for you guys to enjoy them. So yeah. For the first one I'm going to explain what's happening and then the rest will just basically follow suit. Okay so here the druid's basically going to use a cyclone on me and I'm going to blade storm it and stop it from actually doing it on me. As you can see he used the macro and it didn't work. Other ways to use Blade Storm is to remove roots, to remove slows, and also to prevent yourself being knocked back. I'm going to show you a few, maybe 10 15 clips, real quick. I'm going to be shown, telling you what I'm going to be doing during the first tree because they're going to be a root, a slow, and a, and a knockback. So, um, yeah, let's get into that. Okay, so first up, we have a druid. He's going to root me now, and I'm going to Blade Storm my way over it and charge him straight away. Next up, we're gonna have a rock. He's gonna use slow on me. I'm gonna sling a blaze storm. I'm gonna get out and go charge straight away. And then this hunter is gonna put explosive trap down just to knock me away. I'm gonna blade storm it. And you could also use spell reflect on that.
Okay, so next up we have interrupt, specifically disrupting spell and storm bolt. Just showing you guys, even when some sort of way we're incapacitated, you can still interrupt people. I have three clips for you, so I'm going to show you guys um, what is happening and how to use it. So yeah, let's get into it. See, oh, I'm ruined here. She's going to cast the heal. I interrupt with disrupting show. Here, I'm going to get hexed, and after I get hexed, you will see he's casting. I use the storm bolt to interrupt him. Bet you didn't know you could do that. Then next up we have um, he's going to fake pump. He's going to fake pump again. I interrupted with disrupting shout at the end. Okay, so before I show you the clips, we're going to talk about the importance of fear while being rooted. Real main reason is when you're rooted, people want to get away from you, and if you fear them quick enough, you can stop them doing that. And uh, the idea is just to do it as quick as possible, and as soon as they're feared your root will come off and you should be able to go straight back on them before they even get out of the fear. Okay, so we have a few clips and I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to charge Zen here and he's going to root me. He's going to get just a bit away, I'm going to fear and he's going to be stuck there. A few seconds there, I get out and I'm gone. Okay, so next up we're going to talk about spell reflex. Spell reflex are anyone says you can use them, but there is quite a lot of timing involved in doing it right and how to use it. And generally, the best time to use it when someone's halfway through their cast, not at the start, not near to the end, halfway through, because generally most spell reflex macros require you to press the button twice and by the time you press it twice halfway through a cast it will be near the end of the cast and you will get the reflect so yeah guys let's get into the reflex and i'm going to show you some really cool stuff yeah so let's let's explain what's happening in the first one okay so i'm going to charge him and he's going to stun me now i didn't lay down with his case bolt and get ready to reflect drink it and reflect and case bolt to the face Okay, so we come to the end of part one of the Warrior Tricks video. Part two should be up in the next one to two days. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And the video, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Also like the video if you liked it. And also leave a comment for if you, you tried any of the Warrior Tricks yourself. Or anything that you found useful in this video. So, um, yeah guys. Thank you for watching. This is Evio. I love you all. Take care and see you guys in the next one.